So I got a question the other day, um, yesterday actually. Uh, this guy asked me, he said he's got a 90 Chevy pickup and uh, his driver's side floorboard has a rust hole in it and it's on the left side of the floorboard right up against where the door meets and he asked uh, what's a good way to fix this and this is a really common problem especially in older vehicles where you want to fix the rust hole in your floor but you don't have any solid metal to uh, to weld to because part of the wall is gone as well so I ran into this problem this summer and unfortunately I didn't take any video while I was repairing it but I did take a lot of pictures so I'm gonna make a really boring uh, still picture video for you guys. I'll try to keep it as short as possible so I don't bore you to death. And I'll just show you the best way to fix uh, rusty floorboards when the, uh, the walls rusted out as well. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix. Uh, basically, as you can see, that yellow line right there is where that's the seam where the floor pan is supposed to meet that kicker plate or the sidewall, rocker panel, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, there's no metal there. And the metal that is there is really rotten. So it'd be hard to just fix the floor pan and, uh, and be done with it because there's nothing to weld that floor pan to. So uh, this is what that rocker panel looks like from the outside. This is a picture of the driver's side, obviously, uh, but the passenger side that I was working on looked the exact same. This is after I pulled the running board off. As you can see, that rocker panel has a huge hole in it. There's no way you could have welded a floor pan into there. And even if you did, water and moisture would have gotten right back in there and rusted it out again. So the only thing you can do is fix it the right way. Uh, this is just another picture of the rusted out wall uh, from the inside. Nothing too special. This is after all the rot is cut, in, or cut away. Uh, if you look closely, you can see that the floor pan is also cut out. So I cut everything out at once. All the rust just got cut out at once. And I cut off as little as I had to but I made sure that all the rust was gone because you have to cut it all out. If you miss a little bit, it's like cancer. It's going to keep spreading. And that job, um, all that work is just going to be for nothing because it's going to rust right away again. So you got to make sure you get all the rust cut out. Uh, this is my patch panel. And as you can see, the first thing you want to do is start by reinforcing that rocker panel and you want to work in sections. You need to fix the rocker panel first and get that all solid and rust free. And then you can go about fixing the floor. So you start off by cutting out your patch panel and welding it in just like that. I uh, got it clamped there so it's not moving so I can tack it. And um, I'm sure everybody knows, I've said it in the past in other videos, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're welding sheet metal like this, you need to take your time, otherwise you're going to warp it and it's going to look like crap. So take your time, do little spot welds, you know, a few inches apart, and you should be fine. Uh, this is once it's all welded up. Uh, you can see it's it looks a little sketchy, but, you know, nothing that you can't fix. But anyway... Um, yeah, that's all reinforced now and it's solid. So now what you're going to have to do is move on to doing the floor. And I don't have any pictures of actually welding the floor in place. Uh, this is just after it was finished welding. Um, I welded it all tight and then used a seam sealer all around my weld to make sure that no moisture or water or anything would get in there through little pinholes or anything and make it rust out again. I wanted to make sure the job was done correctly. So uh, yeah, I just overlaid everything with seam sealer. Uh, this is the outside of the Jeep, that rocker panel after a little bit of Bondo and primer.
This is after paint. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, obviously not professional, you know, or perfect, but it looks 10 times better than it did with the big rust hole there. This picture is the floor pan after I was all finished. Um, I sanded everything down and covered the entire floor with POR 15 that uh, seals the surface rust and make sure make sure that it'll never rust again. And if you look closely, you can see where the rocker and the floor pan are welded together. Everything's solid and reinforced and they use each other as a right angle to make it really strong, just as strong as it was when it came from the factory rust free. And that's what you're going for. <clears throat> and then this last picture is just the finished product uh, with the running board back on. And yeah, it looks pretty good, I'd have to say. Um, but yeah, basically that's how you fix a, a floor pan that's right up against the rocker panel and it's all rusted out. The main thing you got to remember is taking your time and making sure that you work on each piece separately and uh, don't try to form a piece of metal that's going to be, you know, you know, in an L shape to fit the floor and the rocker panel. It doesn't work that way. You have to do each piece separately and then you can fuse those two together. I uh, hope this video helped. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and uh, I'll answer them as best I can. Thanks.